Good morning guys and welcome to a 2024 reset video. Today is currently January 1st, 2024. You get the whole spiel every time someone talks about the new year. They're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's the new year. I can't believe it's January 1st. I can't believe it's 2024. Anyways, point is, it's currently a new year. 2024 for new better self. I don't know. I didn't really plan that out before I said that. But with the new year comes setting new goals, setting new resolutions, and bettering yourself. In today's video, I do want to try to better myself. I want to set some goals. I want to try to glow up a little bit for the new year because as you can tell, right now I'm looking a little rough, so <laughs> we're going to try to fix that. Well, let's get up and this day started. You thought I forgot you, didn't you? <laughs> I just finished doing my skincare and making my bed. So now I want to go and start setting some goals for this new year. Start off the morning early, you know, setting goals together because I'm smart. I'm not going to make them super crazy because I know the more unrealistic your goals are, the less realistic it is that you're going to achieve them. I want to set some goals to better myself for the new year. Not necessarily like go around a marathon or get into Harvard or Yale. I'm picking more of like realistic things to do this year actually, thank you. So let's do that. I need a journal. Old. This is my old journal from, I wanna say 2021. This is actually my 2021 journal, but I didn't finish her. So we're gonna use her today to journal in. Okay, I've got my journal and then I've got my markers. This pencil pouch is disgusting right now. This journal's really cute. Look at that July spread. I'm gonna get back into journaling. Who am I kidding though? I don't have any time with journals, so. I'm just gonna flip to a blank page. Here's my title. Before I start writing my goals, I want to kind of have a word of the year. I think I already determined what my word of the year was going to be because this is a really kind of off topic story. But yesterday in Sunday school, we were reading like obviously our whole Sunday school lesson and we flipped to Exodus and we read this passage about how Moses saw God and his face became like it glowed and it became radiant. And I think that word's really pretty. I guess my word of the year is going to be radiant. So I'm going to write radiant under here. This is going to be my year of radiance or being radiant. But I think being radiant is kind of just meaning to me being a good person and being optimistic. I am by nature a very pessimistic person if you can tell i love being tough my vlogs and stuff but i i am i like to complain but like don't we all kind of anyways let's get into my goals when i'm writing my goals i'm gonna keep in mind the word radiant slash radiant one goal i have this year is to move my body every day just even if it's like a five minute walk which is a goal that i feel like won't be hard to maintain because if you don't know i run track so i have track practice every day monday through friday another goal i have i want to read my bible daily even if that means literally just reading one singular page like on days where i read nothing i feel like i can see a big difference in my life compared to oh my gosh blinding hello that was god's presence coming through as i was saying before i got blinded by the sun or god i don't know who knows i do think that reading one page daily is better than reading nothing at all okay then my next goal is i want to drink at least one saline water a day because saline's are pretty big i feel like they're like 30 40 ounces depending on which stanley i use and i want to set goals about like my job which i say in really heavy quotation marks there because my job really isn't like a job for me it's more just like fun it's technically like tiktok and youtube and social media so i'm going to set some goals regarding and surrounding that i'm going to keep this brief and short i'm not gonna annoy you one goal i have for myself is i want to hit 600k on tiktok this year and then another goal of mine is i want to hit 200k on youtube that one's gonna be a stretch and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed i'm gonna use this as my time to plug going subscribing i was thinking about this in the shower last night and i was thinking about all the goals i had and i was like oh my gosh i have so many goals right now and now that i'm here in the morning like sitting down and writing them down i literally can't remember but like half of my goals Ooh, another good one is i want to work on developing my personal style i kind of found what i like and what i don't like so i'm going to continue to do that as the new year comes in I want to start trying to build my style even more. Another really big goal I want to incorporate this year is to compliment at least one person each day. And I think that's a whole part of being radiant. I feel like giving compliments, whether we give it credit or not, is such like an important and empowering thing. Like it makes not only the person giving the compliment, but the person also receiving the compliment feel good. And even if that comes down to just like texting them being like, hey, you looked good today. Or hey, your hair looked nice today. Like I think giving compliments is something that's so important, something as humans that we don't do enough. I feel like I don't give compliments every single day. Like, I want to. I feel like it's good because it makes you feel better, makes other people feel better, boost everyone's self esteem, all that jazz. Make the world a better place. And you know what that brings in? Radiance. Being radiant would be like being kind, showing love towards others, and just kind of being more optimistic. So, on that note, I think that's all my 2024 goals. Here are my goals. You can screenshot them if you want. But I do think these are going to be really helpful for me going into the new year. I think later I might actually write these goals on sticky notes and then like sticky note them onto my mirror or something. I think now I'm going to go and make a coffee and maybe have some breakfast. We we are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams.
Hi guys, as you can probably tell, I'm looking a little rough right now, so we're gonna ignore that. I put my hair back up and I changed into a t-shirt because my room gets super, super hot. I don't know if you can tell, but the sunlight is indeed very much pouring through my room right now. Natural lighting is, natural lighting just comes in clutch. I did my devotional. Also, look how cute this was. I did my journaling in Ephesians today. If you are Christian or you're religious, I highly recommend this devotional. It's by Sadie Robertson. It was really good and I just wrote a bunch. Now I'm trying to say what I want to do. I don't know if you can tell, but beside me, I have a ton of PR packages that I want to like post about. One of the big things that I want to do for my room reset is to clean my room. One big thing I do have like taking a bunch of space in my room are a bunch of PR packages. I hate talking about PR like this because it sounds like I'm being ungrateful, but I'm not because like I'm obviously really grateful for everything they received and I'm literally so excited about everything in here. I have 12 PR packages. I don't want to sit down later and film a YouTube video of me unboxing this stuff, but in order to prepare for like filming the packages, I need to like black out my address and all of the packages so I don't like leak my address, you know? So I think I'm going to go through and mark out my address and all of them. This may not seem like a typical reset thing but for me this is part of like making a step towards cleaning my room and creating content which for me is like resetting let's get to marking out some addresses okay now i'm back and i've got a sharpie this time i think i'm gonna play some music because i want to get in the spirit kind of thinking drake low key. okay i just finished marking all labels now if someone sees them i won't get stalked just spread it up the stairs. And tell me why as a runner, I still get out of breath from spreading up the stairs. Anyways, it's time to go on my run now. So we got four miles on the agenda, so let's go conquer that. New here, new me, but still can't charge my devices, so. Let me plug these old bad boys up. Call me crazy, but I think I'm gonna go run in shorts and t-shirt. It's 46 degrees and it's sunny, so I'll be fine, right? Oh, anyways, let's go get ready to run. Okay, here's a little running fit check. I've got on my little loose with flame blue shorts, and then I've got on my Nike socks and run the coat goes on. It's currently 1.34 p.m. I'm gonna go for my run. Hi guys, I just got back from my run. It was really good, I did a little easy four mile run. Now for the next part of my reset, I'm gonna go and take a little shower. Not an everything shower yet though, I'm gonna do that tonight when it's like actually bedtime. But right now I still have like half the day left. I'm just gonna rinse off my face and then my body. And I'm probably gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna get back to doing more reset things. Hey guys, I just got a shower and now I'm all dressed and clean. Now I'm just getting ready a little bit. I'm gonna do some skincare and then I'm going to go and have some lunch. After I go eat lunch, I decided that I'm gonna go driving with my dad because I want to get in some driving practice. I didn't mention this when I was setting my like, goals, but one of my really big goals this year is to get better at driving. Just put on way too much sunscreen. Oops. So that'll help me work towards one of my goals that I really want to achieve this year. Hi guys, I just got back from going driving. We practiced driving for like an hour and a half or something like that. Well, I was driving during golden hour and I couldn't see like half the time I was driving. I was like, <laughs> my blinders down, give me some sunglasses. Like I couldn't see. I think now I'm going to do a little bit of makeup because I want to film a video of me unboxing all my PR packages. And then after that, I'm gonna go and clean my room. I might honestly go live on TikTok while I get ready. And then I'll get back to you after that probably. Hi guys, I just finished filming my YouTube video. It took way longer than expected. I'm so tired. So I think I'm actually just gonna go and take a shower now. Since I get back to school tomorrow and it's a reset video, obviously, I want to do like a full everything shower. So I'm gonna wash my hair, wash my body, exfoliate, shave, all that good stuff. Plus, my mom, when I was out driving today she took all the sheets off my bed and like washed them so now i have all fully clean sheets but that means i'm gonna have fully shaved and exfoliated legs and clean sheets if you know you know that's the best feeling ever so i'm gonna go and take a quick little everything shower well quick as quick as an everything shower can be and then we're gonna get to cleaning my room because she is a type of a disaster Hey guys, I just got a shower. I'm putting on my Sarah Friday's lip balm because my lips are dry and crusty messy from this disgustingly cold weather outside. Currently 32 degrees right now. 32, like as a 32, freezing. The high for tomorrow is right 48 degrees, which is higher than today, but still 48 degrees. I do need to go ahead and make my bed because if you can't tell, she's unmade. But I'm going to make my bed and then I will put the self tan on. I've got all my self tanning clothes and then we'll clean my room, pack my lunch, prepare for school tomorrow. Spotify it is. Okay, 
Sky Jazz. And I should make it my bed. She's nice and clean now. I put all the stuff that I'm keeping from the PR unboxing on my bed, so it's kind of messy right now. But all I have left on the floor right here is just like the boxes and stuff I need to throw away. Before I throw all that away and like clean up my floor and like organize all the stuff I got, I do need to self tan. I'm pale as a ghost, if you can't tell. I have a new self tanner to try. This could go one of two ways on me. I could either look orange tomorrow morning when I wake up or I could look nice and bronze. So, even if it doesn't be orange, at least the packaging's cute, right? <laughs> right. I'm gonna go self tan and I'll let you know how it goes. Alright, guys, I just finished self tanning, and before you come for me, I underestimated how good the self tanner was gonna tan me, and I'm kind of really nervous when I wake up tomorrow morning. Before she comes to worse, I can scrub it off later. But I think now I'm gonna go and start cleaning my room up and then pack my lunch for school tomorrow. Hi guys, I don't even know while I'm coming to pop in real quick. When I was filming this, I was like, oh, I'm gonna at least continue filming tonight and then I'll film probably the next like day. Well, life happened and como se dice, I didn't film anymore. So I did not film an outro. So here I am to give you some sort of goodbye, thank you, gratitude for watching this video. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little reset. Comment down below one of your resolutions because I want to hear some res your resolutions. I think my next video posted will probably be the PR unboxing that I filmed in this video. Bye guys.